Hey everyone, Joseph Ritchie here, and in this video, we're gonna talk about lip bends. So you don't wanna miss this. Uh, lip bends are actually one of the fastest ways to develop your tones, because it's having you play like in the middle of the pitch and then bending down, finding that micro intonation, it's really helpful. Uh, Pat Sheridan and Sam Playfian talk a lot about them in their shawarma exercise in the brass gym. Um, but this is just a slightly different approach, kind of the same thing though. So on the exercise, it's pretty clear here, you know, if you read, but just so further, a little, a little further instruction, uh, all the slurs here are lip bends. You'll play the first two measures with open, uh, and then the second two measures, they're all in two measure pairs, so you'll just play the same fingering. So I'll just demonstrate this for you real fast. And you have the track that you can play along with. I don't have it at the moment pulled up, but you can play along with the track. And you just play the first note, and then you bend down to the second note and back up to the first. And the most important part with the exercise though is that you're keeping the air continuous as you're opening everything up and maybe even using a little bit more air don't back off on the air in order to achieve that like timid type sound we want the same quality of tone pushing through with that air and just opening up more and then you can control it um i like doing these with drones too because then you have a dead center to pitch you're trying to find and then you're, like, you're not really guessing anymore you can just kind of find it and lock in on that pitch because at the end of the day in the ensemble that's what we're doing is we have to lock into whatever um reference pitch we have so and i have it in the mid register going down for you and then i also have it in the mid register going up uh, some people like them as they're playing higher, some people don't. I personally enjoy them going from like G at the bottom of the staff to G at the top of the staff. It really just helps you make sure I'm playing relaxed in that register because it's really easy to let tension kind of creep up in there. And as you get to like G and F and F sharp, those those notes up there, um, it can be a little difficult to um, actually have a full lip bend. So just, you know, don't be discouraged if you're trying those at first and you're just going down and doing a lip slur instead. Um, just really kind of focus on relaxing it, and it'll come with time. And then the second one, it's a great one. I love it. On page 22 here, so it's in two measure chunks again. You play each two measure chunk with the same fingering, and you're going down or up chromatically, depending on which part of the exercise you're in. So, you have G, F sharp, breathe, F sharp, G, all with a lip bend. So you're going to breathe at count four of the first measure, and then you're going to come back in on a bent note. And this is kind of a difficult exercise, but it's one that's really helpful and helps you lock in on the pitch. So I'm going to demonstrate for you. And I kind of took it out of time just because... I'm not using the best quality microphone right now at the moment, so I just wanted to make sure that you kind of hear a pitch change. And again, if you don't get that full half step at the beginning, that's fine. Take these slow, and with the lip bends, it's really important just to, even if you don't do them in time, just to start there and get the full bend and then back up. So I hope these were helpful. Again, this is, you commit to these for, you know, five minutes a day. Um, and I don't know of a faster way to develop your tone or getting your sound more comfortable. And it really kind of hones in on your, your embouchure and your aperture as well, really getting it lined up for what you need to do to be the most effective. So I hope this helps. Um, I'll see you in the next video and happy practicing.